Hi, it's Richard from StringTVUK.com. Um, this is a bit of a boring video f only for those people that need the Windows fix for version uh, ace of the Stream TV UK build. Anybody else, please just turn off. You're not going to enjoy this at all. Okay, they've all gone. Um, so let's get on with this uh, Windows fix. Um, this is um, the screen that you'll get when you've downloaded the new build on um, on a Windows machine using Kodi 16. Um, and what we want to do is we want to force close this. So, go on here. Yeah, force close Cody. Okay, so next job we're going to do is we need to open Cody. So this is what happens. You've downloaded the build um, and well, nothing's nothing's working. None of the, uh, the skin settings have come through. You'll still probably have all the um, add-ons if we just have a quick look. So yeah, we've got all the add-ons, but no um, skin settings, which makes it kind of pointless. So to get the skin settings, move over to System, and then Appearance, go in Skin, where it says Confluence, press Enter, and change it to the skin that we're using, which is Exonfluence, press Enter, and then say yes, you want to keep this skin. Exit out, and... We're going to, um, you can click OK on that, but basically we need to do another force close. So go in there, go force close Cody again. OK, next job. We need to, um, what do we need to do? We need to swap a file that is in Cody that just for some reason with this build that I've used isn't compatible. Um, so we're going to go into File Explorer and then we're going to go into your hard drive and then look for users and this is me so we're going to go into that and you're looking for app data. Now sometimes app data won't be there um, if app data isn't there, you get to your app data by going into your control panel. So you can search for control panel there. I've got mine saved there. Um, then you go into appearance and personalization. You go into file explorer options. And then you go into view. And you need to make sure that there's a check in this box here. Show hidden files, folders and drives. Click apply and OK and then you're good to go. But my app data is already there, so we'll just go straight and update it. Then Roman, then Cody, and then user data. Then it's add on data. And then you go to the bottom of this list, and there it is Exxon Fluence. Uh, this is the file that's come through corrupt. Uh, well, it's not corrupt, it's just not come through as it should. It's basically a blank uh, a blank skin file. So we need to swap this out. So, so I'm just going to open another window um, in File Explorer. Eventually. And I've got the settings saved. There it is. Um, so we'll just drag and drop that in onto the new one. So if you have a look at the size of the old file, 50 KB, and the new one's 91. We'll just um, delete the old one. I'm just going to 
rename that. Don't want it as copy. I just want it as sentence. Don't know if it'll make any difference, but there we go. And um, that should now be that. So if we go into Cody, here we go. Fixed. Sorry, it's a bit long-winded. Uh, sorry, it didn't work. I've still not come up with um, a, 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 a fix for it. Just this work round. So um, we'll try and get it sorted for the next build. But hopefully, in the meantime, this will keep you going. If anybody needs any uh, help, then just give me a shout, and I will uh, do everything I can to uh, help. Okay, cheers. Bye.